right guys it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood over here at the Captain Bailey's and on this day's adventure I'm just going to show you my tent setup and of course uh, as soon as I shoot the video the airplane overhead right never fails all right what we got here is the snug pack ionosphere as uh, my uh, first mate is uh, getting he, we just finished setting her up he put it in the last stake right there so uh, yeah this is what it looks like I'm not doing any type of review on this tent this setup uh, I don't normally do reviews I just like camping and I just wanted to show on this video since it's first time it's been beautiful around here for a while I'm getting the, the fever so I'm gonna camp out this uh, yeah, next night or two I'm gonna just camp out out back just test out my gear so when I do get to go out in the woods, it's getting real hard to go out in the woods nowadays with, uh, you know, having three kids. Hard to do videos, hard to do brewing, hard to do everything, man. When you got three three little ones running around the house. So this is what it looks like. This is when we go out. It's more of a glorified bivy. If you're a big guy, you you know, 6'3 or something like that, you're going to feel a little cramped in here. I'm 5'8". All right. So this is what it looks like. The uh, Again, it's the Snug Pack ionosphere okay really good quality uh, I used it last year one time uh, has a nice little vestibule here you know put your pack uh, I guess you you sit your butt in here and then you take your shoes off I guess you don't want to dirty the inside of your tent and then you put your your, your wet gear or, you know anything storage right here where you know if it's gonna rain you store it right there nice zippers let's see if I can do this with one hand very nice stitching. You got these little Velcro things that'll Velcro up here. Um, see, just some zips like this. Comes around this way. This one comes up. There's plenty of reviews, real reviews on this tent. Like I said, I'm not an official reviewer or anything like that. I just wanted to show you my setup. All right, so this is what it looks like. Plenty of room, as you can see. I like I like how this, uh, unlike the traditional bivvies where you got just a piece of cloth over your face this actually gets up out of the air I'm, you know I'm not one for enclosed spaces per se you know I don't want to get too um, I have something right over my face I, I'm not, not one for that so this is pretty neat like, like I said I only tried it once so I'm gonna try it again this weekend and see how it works again um, one thing I want to point out is it's only a three season tent I mean obviously because as you can see it's all open at the bottom so you get a nice a lot of airflow coming in here and then if it's nice if it's not damp out and you want to look at the stars you can just you know flip the curl this all the way back and take you can take these off these straps see they just all hook to the, the stakes just take this off and it's all open nice bug mesh and you just look out over the stars but here in my neck of the woods it's always damp there's always some sort of moisture so I'm just obviously going to keep that on um, plenty of room like I said I have put my uh, sleeping pad in here and my sleeping bag on top so it looks like there's a lot more headroom than there is it, it's deceiving but you're not just going to sleep right here on this floor you're going to put your sleep pad on there and my mattress is almost like sleeping on a daggone uh, pool <laughs> flotation device that's how thick it is so therefore you know I'm going to be raised up and then a sleeping bag on top so eventually I'm just going to be almost kissing the top of this per se that's the way it feels anyway to me um, one thing I did notice, because I watched another reviewer's, um, reviews on another tent that he said had leaked. And he went inside his tent and he looked at the stitching and the little pinholes. And I don't know if you can see this, but I noticed that, um, I did see some sort of lighting come in here earlier, right here, along the stitch line. And that's where the water gets in. So, I don't know if that's a defect in the manufacturer's product. See, here's another one right here. One little pinhole right there. And I'm telling you, if it rains hard, hard enough, I mean, granted, I have this on top. So, I'm hoping that the stitching on this, I don't see any holes coming through this. That's the part that's going to protect me from the rain. So, but his tent, the canvas top, had which was this part, like, you know, was all one tent. So then this part was what was leaked all along the top. All along here, where the stitching was, had little pinholes. And that's where the water got in. So, 
that was a fail for him. And that was like a five, six hundred dollar tent, which really sucked. <laughs> but this, even though I see those pinholes there, the rain's not going to come in from the side. It's going to come from the top. So as long as this on top is doesn't have any pinholes in it, I don't think it's going to leak. And it's not going to rain anyway. And half the time, I always make sure when I do go out camping, I know it's a pain. I mean, it's not more, much of an adventure if it doesn't rain, but I really don't like the rain because I want to get out. I'm more of a camping guy where I like to relax. Okay, I like to relax when I go out camping. Maybe do a nice hike set up the shelter and then you know chill out there the rest of the day when i get out to the woods i want to relax peace of mind you know let that that inner energy of nature get into me you know it's it's what i need it's what the captain needs every once in a while so i'm getting the itchy bug it's gonna be like 71 today obviously i gotta work so i'm gonna do something with the kids this morning i just wanted to set this up for the next couple for the next couple nights because when i do get off work tomorrow night i'm gonna do a campfire out back as you can see i got my uh all my uh, wood over here getting ready to go and uh yeah you know do a campfire tomorrow night watch some craig tube and make some youtube videos have a couple brews and just chill out in the backyard yeah so the way the captain like i was saying likes to fly is i always go when it's dry because i don't want it to rain you know i want to get out here in a nice sunshine like this sit out smoke a cigar have a have a home brew uh you know, and then sit underneath the stars or whatever till till, till it's time to go hunker down in the tent. Uh, if it's raining all day, I mean, it's not much of an adventure for me to sit inside this thing, especially this thing which cramp, with cramps quarters. It's not it's not fun. You can't sit up, even if you lift it up and try to have a cigar in there or a pipe. It ain't happening. You know, it, so then you'd have to build a lean-to or some sort of you know, above you know something higher off the ground to get yourself out of the rain and. And in my neck of the woods, you can't, like, wild camp, really. You can't go out in the woods and start chopping shit down and building shelters and, and bushcrafting, things like that. So, you can't. You, you, you got to have a permit wherever you go, <laughs> you know, in, in the woods. So, uh, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, video. Like, subscribe. Hey, let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. I mean, like I said, this channel isn't just all dedicated to homebrew, guys. All right, there's another facet to the channel, as I already described in the description. You know, camping adventures, hiking adventures, homebrew, kids, whatever, you know. I mean, so it's a little bit of something for everybody if you find that entertaining. All right, so hope you find this uh, this informative about, you know, my setup here. Uh, you know, if you have any questions about, the, about this tent, I mean, I think this ran me uh, price-wise about, you know, I think I got it off Amazon for, like, 150 159 160 ish something like that last year i'm not sure if the price has fluctuated or not but there, if you want to see other better reviews uh there's another guy's channel out there uh, uh what the heck is his, his name um i don't know just look it up just look up ionosphere uh by snug pack and you, you'll get plenty of reviews plenty of guys out there so this was one last look at it And that's going to be my home away from home, even though it's uh, in the backyard. <laughs> but the captain's got to do what the captain's got to do, right? So we do it again. Remember, what do we say, Hugo? Let's set sail. <laughs>